Look at this lovely picture. This is Cooper Harris having an amazing time with his father, Justin Harris, in a baseball game. Unfortunately, Cooper is just a statistic now. He is one of the average 38 children who die every year due to being forgotten and left in hot cars. Aren't children the future of our country? Why do they continue to face death in a society where technology has advanced way beyond the realms of our imaginations? You might be surprised that it has nothing to do with how much parents or guardians love them. The majority of vehicular heat stroke and hyperthermia deaths are caused by well-meaning parents who only lost awareness of their surroundings and made the tragic mistake of forgetting to double check their back seats and locking their cars. <sighs> Furthermore, as said by memory expert David Diamond, it is a tragic way of learning how the brain works. Each of us have dueling memory systems, Diamond explains. The first directs our habits. It's the system that lets you drive home from work without thinking consciously about every turn. The second is responsible for short-term plans, such as buying milk on the way home. Unfortunately, the first memory system is far more superior than the latter. It only takes 10 minutes for a car's temperature to increase an alarming 20 degrees, and just 15 minutes for a child to die. Aren't children the future of our country? Why do they continue to face death in a society where technology has advanced way beyond the realms of our imaginations? All right. It pains me to have learned how the number of these deaths fluctuate every year. The most in 2010 with 49 could be engineers, could be doctors, teachers, inventors, maybe even the next president of the United States of America. Here are some safety measures from Janet Fennell, president of kidsandcars.org, to prevent any more deaths. First, look before you lock. Open the door to the back seat to assure that everyone is out of the car, even if you think you are childless. Second, keep something you need in the back seat. Put your left shoe, cell phone, briefcase, laptop, lunch, ID badge, or anything else essential to your daily routine beside your child. Third, travel with a stuffed animal and keep it in the car seat. When the stuffed animal is in the car seat, the baby When the baby is in the seat, the stuffed animal rides shotgun. The third passenger serves as a reminder that the baby is in the back. And lastly, if you see something, do something. If you see a child alone in a car, do not hesitate to call 911. We are the future of this country, and I am challenging you to come up with a more innovative solution, an idea, perhaps a gadget to help remind parents of their little ones in the car seat so that no other children will be forgotten. Thank you.